family what's going on we about to get it started in about two minutes sold out to holiness sunday we about to get this thing started with our mix this is about to be great for the glory of god always 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 Please like and share this video with your friends, your family, your guests. This is about to be great. Sold out the Holiness Sunday. We got some new music coming up here too. Some new music for some artists you're gonna love it because i did well you might not love it because i did but hopefully you will do to get it started one minute until the show one minute until we start Oh. I pray that y'all having a great Sunday. And let's start it up. Christian Music Network. Let's go. Still we should fly the flow of the land here, marching up the sign coming with a lamb shit. Standing up in the face of fear, we ain't never scared, we gon' make it real clear. What, 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 we redo? What, 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 we redo? What, 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 we still redo? Thank God we are redo. Yeah, 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 welcome to another episode of Renew Radio. I'm your host, Mr. S to the P, aka Sam B. Sit back and chill today as we turn up with our sold out to holiness two hour segment. All genres of Christian music from the old school to the new school. This is your station for Christ like transformation. This is. Versa, bam, fam, stay focused. Facebook, I'm telling you, you got some talent, but we got the word of God. Let's do it. In our mix. Watching the clock, thinking guess time like a bottle. 
Check out Versa Fam, Bam Fam, Versa Bam Fam, his fan page. I'm posting everybody's music that I play on this page, Facebook. Check this out. This is your station for Christ-like transformation. All glory to God. Not just on Sunday, but we turning up. Focus. This is charity. Great big God. Great big God. We go in our mix.
serving 31 summers. Move it on. C. Rand Gilbert, breathe. Check it out. Yeah. 
all you gotta do is Gospel on Sunday by my man Mike Body featuring Jarrell Johnson. Check it. Mike Body, y'all. This song got gospel song of the year, I believe. Check out Mike Body. Sunday. Welcome to another spectacular, awesome, anointed episode of Renewed Radio. I am your host, Mr. S to the P, aka Sam P. We got some great music coming on with this mix. 
um, we are live on Facebook. We are live broadcasting on WYTV7 Christian Music Network. So big shout out to all the broadcasters. Big shout out to WYTV7 Christian Music Network in Charlotte, North Carolina. If you are an artist and you want your music played on our network, you can submit your one single MP3 to plug in the number two Jesus at the renewed sampcom If you are on Facebook, I will type it in the comments. That is plug in the number two Jesus at the renewed Or you can go to our website, which is also on this page. Click on our website and go to Christian Music Network. You can get our information there. If you want further advertising to uh, put you on a platform to get you exposed to thousands, even millions of, of fans, of listeners, you can uh, pay an extra fee. Check that out. Also, if you are a business owner or uh, anyone doing something positive in the community i need some radio drops man so it can get your voice out there especially if you have a positive influence on the community also uh, expose your business um make sure that you're doing something positive for the community of course because <laughs> i don't deal with nobody doing nothing dirty I mean, just keeping it real. So, you know, we will review everything that we do once you submit it. It's not just, oh, you say you're a Christian or this is gospel music and we're going to take it. No, we don't do that. We review it. And if we like it, our team, we will uh, send you a message telling you that you're approved. You can, whether it's on Facebook, on our renewed radio page, or our email. So, please send us some music some content so we can promote you for the glory of god and make sure that your music is representing god we got more music coming up we got some new music from um i have to look back at it <laughs> sorry but we going back to our mix with my man benny j with god is good check it out You 
Benny J with My God is Good. Because he is good. That was Benny J with God is good. God is really, really, really good. I know he's been good to me, even when I haven't been good to him. This is Renew Radio. We are live on WYTV7 Christian Music Network. I am your host, Mr. S to the P, a.k.a. Sam P. Man, I just want to let y'all know that I love y'all, man. For really, I don't know who's watching this broadcast, even people who are not watching this broadcast. I just want to let you know I love you. Now, about 11 years ago, I wouldn't have said that because I would just want to be to myself. I don't want to talk to nobody. But, you know, the love of Christ really transforms your mind. And if you really allow him and know Christ like really have an intimate relationship with him, he would transform your mind. Even when people get on your nerves, even if people have they 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 like they don't like you for no reason. And so one thing that I know, God is always good. Always good. And he would transform your mind. So we're going back to my man, Josiah. Featuring the one key on with over me. This is Josiah featuring the one key on. Big shout out to my boys from North Carolina going hard for the glory of God. Okay, I'm rolling through your city like a ton of friends. Lightsaber, my artillery is so enhanced. I'm a god, always like the devil, like baloney. Got me shipping dirty special manner with that pepperoni. I will serve the one and only, no time for items in my life. Had to dismantle the biggest one and get that be my life. Had to be willing to die. Got a game when I lose it. And don't let me, Holy Spirit, natural man, just buy your pillars. So we will repent your image. No more glorifying and sinning. Every day for pity. Hit my knees and ask for death to give. I've only been to the end of this. I feel like I've been the wickedest. People tell me to see you and me, but if they knew the struggles, I'm done with it. God, I'm so thankful. It's been so graceful to me. I can see the love and the forgiveness that you gave to me on that tree. Jesus, I'm going to cross you, God, for me. Ever since I believe, I've been set free. 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 I've been set free. I've been set free. Uh huh. Sin don't have dominion over me. No, no. No, no. No, no. Uh, 
The Phantom Menace who came with the blaze. The shame is the name of the king because the blaze in the brain. It's a vicious to the world, so it's not the things in the brain. The soldiers were ready and of his glorious praise was insane. I guess it's a Christian thing, yeah. And people talking crazy because we hold it potent. Hey, Yaka. Welcome to Renew Radio. Thanks for joining. Long time. That should be your testimony if you really give your life to Christ. <laughs> Yeah, this is Rachel Loomis safe in his arms. Let's go.
Yo, that is my song for real. Rachel Loomis with Safe in His Arms. I love that song. This is Renewed Radio. I am your host, Mr. S to the P, a.k.a. Sam P. We are live here on Facebook, and we are also live at WYTV7 Christian Music Network in Charlotte. Look, check this out. If you want to, you can chat with me here on Facebook live. Also, you can give me a call. The number is 48, oh, I'm sorry, 408 six three eight nine zero six eight again that is four zero eight six three eight zero nine six eight the access code is nine eight zero two three seven zero four five four that is nine eight zero two three seven zero four five four chat with me let me know how everything is doing. How you doing today? Um, you know, one thing that I'm thinking about, everybody's in the football season. And I understand that. You know, I'm a Panthers fan. Go Panthers. Woo. But see, I can't wait for basketball season to come up, especially March Madness, since my Tar Heels won the championship. So, any Duke fans, you have nothing to say to me right now because we have seven. Seven banners. Okay, that's all I'm going to say because I don't want y'all to take it so seriously. You know, it's not really that serious to me. I'm just been a Carolina fan for life. Big shout out to the Tar Heels, North Carolina. So I'm waiting for March Madness to come, waiting for uh, college. I'm waiting for this NBA season to come because I just want to see and let everybody know that Golden State is still the top team. It doesn't matter if Kevin Durant is up there. We use no excuse. It don't matter how many trades that you make. Golden State is off the chain. And big shout out to my man Malik Yarber because we always have a debate over this. But, you know, if you don't have a friend that you don't have a debate over something and then y'all can go to Kickback Jacks and get some food, then, I mean, what do y'all really have? It ain't really, it don't, it ain't really fun. I mean, I guess that's me. I know everybody might be watching uh, football right now, but I'm into football a little bit as long as the Panthers playing. But if they don't make it to the Super Bowl, I probably will go to a Super Bowl party, uh, grab me some chicken, you know, somebody. Just just let a brother know if you're having a Super Bowl party. But the Panthers ain't there. I, I'll probably go for the other team that everybody else is going for because some for some reason, I just be wanting to cause some controversy. So... Please don't hold it against me. But look, check it out. We're going back to the stations on our Sold Out to Holiness Sunday with my man, Little Zing. Now, Little Zing, he's actually in high school, but he's giving honor to God. So to my youth and young, to my youth out here in high school, it doesn't matter if, hold on, how should I say this? Look, check it out. Jesus can change your life and he can show you who you truly are. This young man, this song that I'm about to play is dope and he loves Jesus and he's cool even though he probably don't care about being cool. You, we got to kick that to the side because uh, being cool is going to fade away. It ain't about being cool. If you don't know who you really are, if you don't know where you're going in life and you want to be cool, you can be cool and look like a fool. I mean, I ain't trying to spit no bars, but that's true. You can be cool and look like a fool. So check out my man, Little Zing, with Serve Him.
school student giving honor to God you know when I see something like that I really love that because you know the new trend is that you know I gotta smoke I gotta have my pants hanging down which is the same thing that I used to do when I was 15 years old you know my mother uh tried to you know do the best she can to introduce the gospel to me at a uh, an early age, but I didn't want to receive it because I wanted to go out there. I wanted to hang with the drug dealers. I wanted to hang with uh, the the people who were not doing nothing with their life. Uh, and for some reason, I still couldn't really get but so far because God had a call on my life that I didn't want to receive. I didn't want to uh, serve God because I thought Honestly, it was going to take me away from all the sex with the women. It was going to take me away from uh, smoking the weed and drinking the alcohol. See, I knew what I was going to go into, but I was so addicted and I was in bondage in my mind, enslaved to the things of the world. And so living for Christ can really free you up. You know, it's not about being cool. It's not about having the most swag. It's about a relationship with Jesus Christ, living for him, knowing him, loving him, believing in him, trusting him, obeying his word, and then showing other people how to do the same thing. That's how you make disciples. As we continue to uh, go to our stations on our Sold Out for Holiness Sunday, I want to give a big shout out to... Um, every dad in the world we know we celebrate father's day like one day out of the year but then after that it goes away i want to give a shout out to all the fathers all the future fathers all the present fathers y'all do an excellent job i'm not neglecting the moms i just want to talk about the dads because dads don't really get a lot of recognition if you just really want to be honest we don't get a lot of recognition and so i'm being a father myself you know, on Father's Day, it was it was kind of distracting to me when uh, other men saw me with my daughter and I'm a new father. You know, one dude had a nerve to say, I feel sorry for you. I feel sorry for you. Why? And see, that is why we are labeled as, especially uh, African-Americans, we're labeled as uh, deadbeats a lot of times because you hear stuff like that I'm like you know on Mother's Day you get celebrated and all this you know I, I, I thank the Lord for my family because they celebrated me but you go out here and other men we're talking about man you know you're gonna have to work a lot then. it's like dude just I just want to take a rock and throw it at all the dudes that said that <laughs> but I can't do that because I represent Jesus Christ so uh, one thing that I know is that you know fatherhood is a job it's a it's a real big job but I tell you what it's the best thing one of the I say the third best things to happen in my life 
The first one was giving my life to Christ. The second was marrying my wife. And the third was becoming a father. And so I thank the Lord just for being a father uh, and having this opportunity to show my daughter the likeness of Christ. So let's get back to the station. We got uh, new music coming from... See, I done messed it up. Sorry, who the artist? I I keep forgetting her, her name, but it's dope, and it's gonna change your life if you really let the music get into it. So, but before we go to our uh, our new music, we're gonna go back to some original music from my man B J McKenzie, "Born to Win." Check it out. Facebook, I'll be back after these messages. <laughs> Alexander, what's going on? Yeah. 
That was BJ McKenzie with Born to Win This War. You were born to win. Really, if you really think about it, you were born to win. When Jesus died on the cross for our sins, that was the invitation to come and be free and have eternal life. You were born to win. Now, check out our new music. When I heard this song, I had to play it today. I couldn't wait till next week. I had to play it today. This is by Carrie Gordon. This is her new single, God is in Control. You can also check out Carrie on Spotify, iTunes, all digital outlets. Check out Carrie Gordon with God is in Control. Using my own strength all alone And I quickly realized it takes more than me To obtain all the things I need for this journey Temptation is so much me So while I'm waiting, oh, I'm waiting
Yeah, that was Carrie Gordon with her singer, God is in Control. Check out my man, Baradox, with his latest single, All Rights. The lifestyle of an MC is so surreal, and I'm being a servant in Christ, and now you know the deal. Right now, I'm spazzing out on this microphone, and now birds are actually I'm all in my zone, plus I say to the bone. But should I say the spirit and I can praise God in each and every lyric? Some artists fear this, others embrace the task. Represent them so fearless, they don't hide behind masks. And when the mic is grabbed, they let Christ fly in that moment. They realize by the power of God, they influence the masses. Teach God in classes, educate on this love that only comes from above. So, unlike the world's drugs, God takes you high to keep it real. The Bible calls him the most high. So, instead of trying to live life just to get by, why not surrender to Christ? To give your life to God. So just throw your hands up in the sky to indicate God's great and you're feeling all right. It's by God's grace you're right here tonight and everything's gonna be all right. So just throw your hands up in the sky to indicate God's great and you're feeling all right. It's by God's grace you're right here tonight and everything's gonna be all right. No, I'm not slowing down when I break it down. I represent the underground. Plus, the sound is bound to pound when we come around. You know how the saints get down. Ain't hate a clown with the ticket to the underground. Now, how does that sound? When they be artists, when they come the hardest. Question is from the start. Why they grind it from the heart? What's their reason? MCs really need to be seasoned. Experience in life and bring it true to the mic. Not just there to get your hype. And step off the stage, believe in the legacy. So, when decisions are made, God can use what you heard. God can use what you hear. He's always talking to us. I pray you open your ears. Is. It's so clear, he be manifesting, hope you learn the lessons while I be stressing, asking questions, but God is the keeper of all blessings. I confess him over my life on the daily, and pray you get down with him right quick. Really? So just throw your hands up in the sky to indicate God is great and you're feeling all right. It's by God's grace, you're in here tonight, and everything's gonna be all right. So just throw your hands up in the sky to indicate God is great and you're feeling all right. It's by God's grace, you're in here tonight, and everything's gonna be all right.
best choice for life featuring Sam P, Keon, and Doctrine. And the song is by Unveil. Big shout out to Unveil. I had an opportunity to be on that project. So if y'all don't know, there's no other Sam P as I know of that does uh, Christian rap music. <laughs> and that's me, Sam P. So this is Renew Radio. I am your host, Mr. S to the P, a.k.a. Sam P. We are into our second hour of our sold out for holiness segment and we're going to keep it coming we're going to slow it down a little bit but first i got my man ej featuring kid prince off his first album no silence this is till the speakers bust check it out <laughs> Yes. 
Yeah, 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 that was EJ featuring Kid Prince with Till the Speaker's Bust. That was off his album, No Silence, which is already out. He has a new album coming. Well, he has a new album already at, ready out. So go check that out. You can find uh, my man EJ on Spotify, iTunes, all the digital outlets. Big shout out to my man EJ representing North Carolina as well him and Kid Prince uh, this is Renewed Radio we're going to slow it down a little bit I know we've been hype but that's how we do it here for the glory of God we slow it down too but you know it's good to have a mixture there so you know we got worship when we turned up and then worship when we turn down but guess what? We still getting fed. We get still getting fed for the glory of God. So I'm about to slow it down with my man Kevin Riley. This is I Am Not Alone. Deep water. I know that you will be with me when I'm standing in the fire. I will not be overcome. the valley of the shadow, I will not fear, I am not alone, I am not alone, you will go before me, you will never Thank <laughs> you. 
Yeah, that is my man, Kevin Riley, where I am not alone. So we're going to continue to slow it down with my man, Fernando G. Allen, and the Fernando G. Allen singers with Bless the Lord.
Fernando G. Allen and the Fernando G. Allen Singers with Bless the Lord. That is, I really actually like that song. So I don't do a lot of uh, like traditional contemporary gospel, but I really do like that song right there. And so we're going to continue to slow it down with my man out of Chicago, Peter Scott, with Pray for the City. You are looking live at protests in Chicago. We continue to call the breaking news on police tonight. People and will be shot at a gas station. Well, it's a very West hectic, hectic scene right here on Detroit's west side. The incident happened here at this mobile station and around this area of this mobile station. I am told by police that they are too... Bad enough to pull the trigger, but coward enough to run. Did you so bad to pull the trigger? Why don't you wait until the cops come? It was nothing for you to take that life, because that life was not your own. There's only one person who had that right, that's the one who sits on the throne. If you know you wouldn't be out here like this, you then it's carrying on. But the song, unfortunately, is it was nothing but a song. Am I wrong to keep it standing here, speaking the truth about what's going on? No more talk about what you're going to do. Instead, everyone should just pray for the city. For the city, I pray. 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 Homies out there, if you truly care, don't take matters in your own hands. Because if you do, I can promise you there'll be more bloodshed all across the land. Now I know you want to retaliate, but twice, stop and think while you have the chance. Because all it takes is one mistake, you could be dancing your last dance. It's all up to you to start brand new, so why don't you start today? By the way, good job on what you're doing with the UC Harvey. Our children need guidance, they need fathers, they need love. My prayer is that the people in the city will walk in God's love. Cause if we walk in God's love, it's true. And he can make this city present. Pray for the city, cause the city needs a crime rate going up every day. If people come together, yeah, what I'm saying is real. Why can't we come together and pray? Put religion aside and swallow your pride. I know I got you scratching your head. What I mean by putting religion aside is because we need the kingdom to stay in our prayer. For the city, I pray. 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 My man Peter Scott with for the city I pray pray for the city big shout out to Peter Scott and Andrea Scott out in Chicago giving a shout out to all my family up there in Opal Illinois Chicago we love y'all we will see y'all very very soon Lord's will this is renewed radio I am your host Mr. S to the P aka Sam P we're gonna speed it back up again with my man Jerry Blackwell I love this song this is dedicated to our late Bishop Otis Lockett Senior this is Green Suitcase I 
legacy continues. And legacy continues. Yeah. We live on, on, on. Yeah. We live on, 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 on. We live on, on, on. We live on. On a journey, hope you come with me. Travel back in time, we'll go to rescue temple number three. Probably won't remember that. This before my time, before I rhyme, before I end the tracks, before I sip the Similac. Wouldn't even bump the Jerry's parents when they into that. Oh, the black wells went to see they burning hell in that movie. Had to move into the altar, they had to figure that. They were now disciples, so to say, it wouldn't get me back. Do that, let him take Yeshua was a gentleman. Used to be a gangster till the spirit came and entered him. Probably left him trembling. We met him in a cell, taught him well, we assembled him, taught him to assemble men. Met this lady he was loving, named Barbara. Heard the father tell him, son, you better wipe my daughter up. So we hopped up on the bus, left from Cincinnati. All he had was his faith, his belongings in a green suitcase. Green suitcase, welcome to a new day. Shining like a prism, cause we living for your shoe way. Using what we give and never tripping on what fools say. Cause what fools say, never what they should say. Green suitcase, carrying our dreams on the team that was smooth. They stayed up on the move, they walking in the light and shining brighter than the New day, hungry for the truth, you better open up. Hit the truth, think about the cloud of witnesses. Those who hear from beyond, eternal spirits that can cheer in the song. If y'all got some sky tune, iTunes, I hope you're hearing the song. And through the lyrics, know my spirit is strong and that I'm fearless and I'm steering beyond the atmosphere. I see the cumulus and spirits is gone. Clouds dissipating, crowds participating, throw their hands in the air. Play the Holy Ghost, the Holy Ghost while slamming the snare and dancing on high hats with fly raps. I know the cancer was there because the Jehovah saw a soldier at war. We'll be on the battlefield that he had chosen before that he would enter into rest in him. Love this son especially. Wish we had you here, but we can't tangle with your destiny. Know that with maturity, we still on the road. Chasing lions, faith is flying, and you showed us the foe. Fight like Joshua. The torch is now past the past. The old who came up out of your suitcase. Welcome to a new day. Shining like a prison, cause we live them for your shoe break. Using what we give and never tripping on what fools say. Cause what fools say, never will your shoe say. Say, green suitcase, carrying our dreams on the team that was smooth. They stayed up on the moon. They walking in the light and shining brighter than the noon. They hungry for the truth. You better open up the food. They on, on, on. We live on, 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 on. We live on, on, on. We live on, 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 on. We never die, die, die. We never die, 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 die. We just move into the sky. Yeah, the legacy continues. That was my man. Jerry Blackwell, a.k.a. J. Black with Green Suitcase, dedicated to my spiritual father, the late Otis Lockett Sr. Big shout out to my man, uh, Pastor O, uh, up at Evangel Fellowship, Pastor Otis Lockett Jr., Barbara Lockett. That was the first church that I actually stayed at when I came here in Greensboro as a college student. Uh, I was in a group uh, on campus called YTC, which uh, Pastor Otis Lockett Jr., he was the college, uh, well, he wasn't a college pastor. He was running that and, you know, just giving people the gospel on campus, like authentically and true, because where I come from, it was mostly religious and when I came up here and seen 19, 20, 21, 22 year olds, and I myself, uh, I'm about 23, 24, they're authentically, seriously taking this walk with Christ like serious, man. And, it, I, and then I saw it wasn't boring. They went out to eat, they had game night. You know, I really, what I really thought a uh, uh, relationship with Christ was, was really wrong. And I learned more and more as I grow in my relationship with Jesus Christ. So 
you know, the enemy is a deceiver and his job is to make you think something is one way when it's really not. Uh, somebody told me this fear is false evidence appearing real. So it's really not what it seems is just that we have fear because our mind goes and thinks about all these things that can, can happen these preconceived thoughts come forth and it, it's not even existing it's just the enemy influencing you i mean just think about this the enemy would have to influence you with fear if he knew if he didn't know that it was something good that coming out of it that's the way i see it so we're going back to the radio with my girl christian anderson this is so good <laughs> How 
Yeah, that was so good by Christian Anderson. Big shout out to Christian Anderson. My people's from North Carolina going hard for the glory of God. This is Renew Radio on WYTV7 Christian Music Network. We are also on Facebook Live. Check out Renew Radio Network page and uh, check us out every Saturday at 1 p.m every Sunday at 4 p.m. Next week, next Saturday, we will have our interview with singer, songwriter, and author, Candace Eden Jones. You do not want to miss that. That's at 2 p.m. We have our interview with Candace Eden Jones up there in Texas. Big shout out to Texas. Big shout out to my uh, people who moved from North Carolina to go to Texas. My man, Jeff Alexander, uh, Brandon Sweeney, all my people. Big shout out to you. I love you. So we're going to get right into our encouragement and exhortation segment. And pretty much, um, I want to come from something that a friend and I were talking about yesterday and um, we see everything that's going on in the world I mean even people who are on Facebook like all the time you see what people are talking about things that are going on what is so if you're not aware what's going on uh, people are being racially uh, uh, downgraded um, not just black people white people uh, Hispanics people and this is not nothing new and so it's just being exposed more and more and I believe when it gets at its maturest point then it becomes to killing and violence and I believe it has matured over time. A lot of people uh, talk about racism and, you know, racism has always been around, but racism is just a branch of the bigger picture, which is sin. And, you know, we might say, well, you know, we always talk about sin, but it's racism, things of that nature. Let me tell you something. We have sin in the world. That's why we have racism. We have sin in the world. That's why we have uh, killing and violence because of sin, because of our fall. That's why Jesus Christ came and died for us. He died for our sins because we don't deserve another chance, but he's given us another chance. And so in this exhortation and encouragement, uh, I'm coming from Romans chapter one. And I'm going to actually start at chapter at verse 18 it said but god shows his anger from heaven against all sinful wicked people who suppress the truth by their wickedness they know the truth about god because he has made it obvious to them for ever since the world was created people have seen the earth and the sky through everything god made they can clearly see his invisible qualities, his eternal power and divine nature. So they have no excuse for not knowing God. And so I'm a, I could stop right there, but I'm going to go on just a, a couple more verses. Yes, they knew God, but they wouldn't worship him as God or even give him thanks. And they began to think up foolish ideas of what God was like as a result their minds became dark and confused so the way I'm reading this this is not talking about people who are not saved this is talking about believers who chose not to follow the Holy Spirit but chose to live this lifestyle their own way and make up their own way of living and 
that results into interpreting scripture their own way instead of interpreting it the way the Holy Spirit gives it to them. And instead of worshiping the glorious ever living God, they worship idols made to look like mere people and birds and animals and reptiles. So God abandoned them to do whatever shameful things their hearts desired. As a result, they did vile and degrading things with each other's bodies. They traded the truth about God for a lie. So they worship and serve the things God created instead of the creator himself, who is worthy of eternal praise. Amen. That is why God abandoned them to do their shameful desires. Even the women turned against the natural way to have sex and instead indulge in sex with each other. And the men, instead of having normal sexual relations with women, burned with lust for each other. Men did shameful things with other men, and as a result of this sin, they suffered within themselves the penalty they deserve. Since they thought it foolish to acknowledge God, he abandoned them to do their foolish thinking and to let them do things they should never be that should never be done. So, um, first of all, you know, a lot of times when we read the scripture, we always talk about homosexuality and things of that nature. It was more than just homosexuality, but I mean, it's nothing really to argue with about homosexuality because I'm not even going to go there. People ask, well, is homosexuality a sin? Okay, you can read it that yourself and basically that'll answer your question. So, but it's not just that, it's, it's everything. Uh, and so how did it happen? See, when the spirit of God lets you do what you want to do, basically, because they would not worship God as being God. They would not worship God. What does that mean? When you don't worship God as being God, that means that you have your own selfish ambition and you create God or you want to be God yourself. And nobody really in their right mind on purpose wants to be God themselves. But when we, like I give myself for example, like when we have our own, in our own actions, when we try to be God, like, you know, I'm going to handle the finances myself. You know, I don't need God to do this. Or I'm going to handle, uh, you know, this myself. I don't need to have God to do this. But when I'm in a, a bond or I'm in a, in a rut, I come and call out on God. God, help me. Help me do this. Help me do that. He loves us, but it's important for us to be led by the spirit of God in everything we do, especially if we have asked God to come into our hearts and take over and submit to him. And a lot of times people like us, and I say like us, like the church, because we are part of the church and I have called myself part of the church. We want to do things on our own. We create this image of God and guess what? We share it with other people. We read the Bible and get our own interpretation of the Bible. Instead of asking the Holy Spirit, what does he want to speak to us through that? Everybody's not going to get the same interpretation. It's basically according to which, what God has called you to, I believe, and what you're going through currently in your situation or who God wants you to speak to or share that with in your life personally. And see, when we talk about, uh, when we talk about God giving people over, sometimes in other versions, they call a reprobate mind. That is basically just giving over to let them do what they want to do. And it was not just talking about one person. It was talking about a group of people. And it's a group. It's a group. And that group is the body of Christ. You know, we have done some things to displease God. 
And so people looking on the outside, they don't know what's real. Because that scripture right there, I believe, was talking about the body of Christ. It's talking about people like me. It's talking about, about those who have given their life to Christ. We say, we knew God. It's the, if, we, if you go back and read it, if you go back and read it, it says, they yes, they knew God, but they wouldn't worship him as God or even give him thanks. So what I what we've been talking about this week is one in order to love God, you have to know God. So if you know God, you're able to love him. But when you know him, choose not to love him, then you walk in rebellion. How are you going to know somebody and not love them? And let me put it this way, because people might say, well, I know somebody, but I ain't got to love them. Let, I'm going to put it like this. Your father, your mother, you know your father and your mother. And if you have a relationship with your, your father and mother, if they uh, clothe you, they nurse you, or just anybody who's your guardian that you grew up with in your house, it could be your grandmother, your uncle, just think about somebody that you know that took care of you. It's just like uh, your, the, the person that take care of you, who brought you up, who clothed you, who fed you, you know them, but you choose not to love them. You choose not to um, ha treat them with respect. It's like, yeah, I know you, uh, you, you fed me, you clothed me, you this and that, but I don't care about that. That's the same thing that we do. That's the same thing that we do to God. We do that. It's like he died for us. And you know the beautiful part about it? I wouldn't say beautiful, but I'm just thinking about it, something. It's, it's, his heart is beautiful. The beautiful part about this is that he don't never throw it back in our face. He could just kill everybody right now with a snap of a finger. It's like, okay, you don't want to worship me? Okay, cool. But God is not that type of person because he has unconditional love for us. He is always a chance. You know, I think about before I gave my life to Christ, I was I was doing the same thing. And, you know, every time my mom would sit down at a, a kitchen table with me and read the Bible, uh, and I would just ignore it. But it was those times that I'd be in church or even somewhere else. And I have that conviction that I need to change my life, but I didn't want to because I knew what I was going into because I was raised in a Christian home. You know, not everybody was, but I was raised in a Christian home. And so I knew what I was coming over. I knew what I would be giving up and I didn't want to give that up. It's like, I didn't want to give up the women for, for God. I want to have fun. I want to, I want to do what I want to do. And that's selfish. But God said, I could have did what I want to do and not die for you. And so a lot of times that's what we're doing. And guess what people see? They don't see love. When when you see people on Facebook talking about Christians, this, Christians, that, they're saying, what they're really saying is that they don't see the love of God in us. They don't see love. They don't see the unconditional love. They see us arguing all the time. They see us debating scripture. Why are we doing that? And as a body, we can't show the love of Christ in our own power. We don't have the power to do that. We don't have the ability to do that. But when we have a relationship with God and submit ourselves to him verbally by saying, I, I, I give you permission to come into my life and do and do and use me however you want to, then we're saying we're fully submitted to Christ. But because we are not fully submitted to Christ, really, I mean, even it, it, you don't, it don't, you don't have to not be saved to not be fully submitted to Christ. People who are not saved, they, they're already just saying, look, I don't want it. But those who have submitted their life to Christ, such as myself, and we don't live that life fully, then what we're really saying is that we're not submitted to Christ. I don't want to submit to Christ. I 
want to give this area, but I don't want to give this area. But that means we're not submitted at all. It's all or nothing. It's all or nothing in the body of Christ. That's how it works. And I just want to encourage you today that God loves us and he cares for us and he pursues a love relationship. He does not want us not to reign with him when he comes back. It's going to hurt him more than it's going to hurt us to go in that fiery that fiery pit called hell. Yes, there is a hell. If you don't believe it, read the Bible. Read Revelation. There is a hell. It's going to hurt God to send us there. Because if we're not for him, the word says if we're not for him, we're against him. Do you really want to be against God? Just think about that. And we're so confident because God is not a, a man that will retaliate in an instant. We saw, and I've done this before, but I ain't gonna, I don't think I need to do that no more. We're so, we're so confident to talk and mock God and, and we get up in the morning and we wake up and take our breath because God has not took us out because God is an ever loving God. He loves us unconditionally. We're brave, but eventually our time is going to run out. So I want to encourage you to stay close to the Lord. I want to encourage you that to continue to pursue God because he loves you. Those who don't have a relationship with Christ, I want to encourage you today to get on your knees and build a relationship with Christ. If you don't know or have not ever experienced the love of Jesus Christ, if you have not ever been to a church, it doesn't matter. You can give your life to Christ where you are. All you have to do is say, Father, please forgive me. I repent for my sins this very day. And I ask you to come into my heart and change my heart one day at a time. I submit to your will. I submit to you and make a commitment to live for you for the rest of my life. Then you're saved. So what's next? <laughs> because a lot of times it can be so, so easy to say that. What's next? Next, you have to con ask the Lord asking and you really can you have to ask him to connect you to a body of christ and not just going to church connect you to a to a body of christ that can show you how to live the lifestyle show you how to walk lead him lead lead god lead me to somebody to help me walk this walk for real and be committed because there's so much confusion going on in this world. I only want to be led and drawn to you. I do not want to be confused. My late pastor said this, you cannot live right off of wrong information. Show me the right information, God. Show me who you are. His word says, seek and you shall find me. Knock and the door will be open. You will find God as much confusion it is as it is in this world. If you ask God just like that, you will, go, you will find him. He will make himself known. I mean, it goes back. He even said what I just read. And, uh, Verse 18, he said, no, verse 19 said, they know the truth about God because he has made it obvious to them. Now, okay, if God will ha has made it obvious to us that he is this, we might be like, well, what are we missing? If he said, if God said he's made it obvious to us, then it's true because his word can't lie. <laughs> 
God will make it obvious to us that he exists. He will make it obvious to us how to get to him. And that's through Jesus Christ. He will make it obvious to us that Jesus Christ and God are the same person. <laughs> They're not separate people. I'm not going to get on that either. Jesus and God are not separate people. The Holy Spirit is not se a separate it's not a separate being. They're all the same person. But I'm not about to get on that today. We'll talk about that another time. But I want to encourage you to build a relationship with Jesus Christ. I want to encourage you to stay close to the Lord. I want to encourage you and let you know that God does really love you. And he does desire a love relationship with you. He does want to use you. He does want to use you no matter where you come from. You don't got to get your life straight first to come to Christ. Because guess what? You'll take forever. You can't get your life straight. You're a sinner. I'm a sinner. I'm just a sinner saved by grace. I'm still a sinner, though. The word says that he who said he has no sin is a lie and the truth is not in him. So I am a sinner. That's why I, every day I need God. I need God. It, it's like if I don't have him, then... I'm walking down the path of destruction, but God loves you and he will show you and lead you down this road and how to live for him faithfully. All you got to do is trust him. All you got to do is trust him. And it gets hard. It gets very difficult. I'm telling you right now, but I'm going to end off with this song right here. And it's, from my latest album be still it's called focus because if you focus on the lord no matter what situation you're going through he will help you so i will see y'all on saturday lord's will when we interview candace eden jones at two o'clock but we also start with our soul food segment and our lit for life segment at one o'clock. Facebook, y'all take it easy. Peace out. Yeah. We have the swings to the water, man. To the water, man. Yeah.